Hey guys, how's it going? I'm out here in the middle of nowhere in a field, no Wi-Fi, no computer, no nothing, sitting some nature photography with my DSLR, and you know what? I don't feel like going back home yet. I don't feel like going inside, edit all my photos. Now I don't have to. Thanks to Affinity Photo for iPad, I can do it right out here. So today, I'm gonna show you guys Affinity Photo for iPad, which lets you edit raw photos on your iPad anywhere you want and it's an amazing app so let me show you guys some of the top features in it this application is so powerful that I'm gonna have to break things up into a lot of different videos but know this it beats the heck out of the Photoshop version uh, even Pixelmator has nothing on this application so let's get into it let's go to the screen and I'm going to show you guys around the phone. So I'm shooting with a T4i, which does not have Wi-Fi on it. Most cameras, uh, modern cameras, are going to have Wi-Fi on them. So you could easily bounce your pictures over to your iPad, no problem, setting up a Wi-Fi network. Uh, for me, uh, I'm going to need, and if you don't have Wi-Fi in your camera, you're going to need the Apple uh, SD connector. And basically, you just take your SD card out of your camera, plug it into this, plug it into the iPad, and what it's going to do, it's going to load up in the photos, and then you can just save whatever uh, photos you want to your iPad yourself, uh, load them up in Affinity Photo, and you're good to go. Okay, so here we are inside of Affinity Photo for iPad, and uh, uh, we brought in the picture that we just snapped, and uh, I'm going to show you around the app real quick there's a lot going on in here when i opened this app i was really surprised when i started playing around with just how much this app has to offer so let's just uh let me just give you a quick overview and just show you if you do get this app there's a little thing in the corner here if you press the uh, uh question mark here you're going to get all the uh, different things you have so as you can see here uh you know, we got the move tool, color picker, crop tool, uh, fill color, gradient tool, paintbrush, erase, uh, eraser, burn. And we got dodge and burn, clone stamp, undo brush, pen tool, uh, rectangle and text. Now that's, that's a pretty, pretty good, uh, lineup down the side here. And then as you can see on this side, now we have, uh, our layers, our colors, brushes, uh, adjustments, uh, effects, filters, text, studio, uh, let you adjust text, uh, meta, the meta is kind of weird. It just gives you the metadata. Uh, you have channels. Yes. You can go through and like do channels. Um, it's, it's crazy transform, uh, the navigator, and uh, the history, which I'm going to show you too, which is really cool. Um, but the thing is, that's not even it. That We're still just kind of hitting the tip of the iceberg here with this program because we have up here on the top, we have different personas that we can use. So uh, we have the selection persona. We have uh, liquify here. We can do, you know, that's all supported. Uh, right down here is the back button. And actually, when we have to go back, we can just go to a different persona and not save it. Or, I'm sorry, yes, we're sure we want to go to a different persona. Um, okay, so this is where you would develop uh, your colors and everything. This is, by the way, a raw picture that has been brought into uh, Affinity Photo. So, uh, you know, you can do... We're going to go through what you kind of can, can't do uh, right now. Uh, I want to show you. I think I'm going to use this uh, picture here to show selection really quick uh, and show you kind of how powerful that is. So now that we're in the, uh, is it called selection persona? Yeah, selections persona. Uh, we're going to use the brush, the smart selection tool. And it's it's really good. It It picks up what you're going for pretty good here. Uh, we can go in down here is your things we can subtract. There was a little bit of this green here. 
And uh, if you see kind of around the edge here, it missed a little bit of what we were trying to do. If we go to the bottom, which is the refined selection, uh, that's going to let us really go in and kind of, you know, take sections here and refine it. And uh, I mean, this is, it's, it's really good. Uh, I'm very surprised at how accurate this is. Um, so we're going to go here, uh, apply it. We did a pretty good job of that. Uh, once you have your selection applied, you can just kind of jump around personas and it stays. Uh, let's make another layer here and uh, let's make a new pixel layer. And now actually let's go back and each persona that you're in is going to have different sets of drop downs that come down. So you kind of know where you are and uh, that way it just keeps everything organized a little bit better. Uh, we're going to invert the selection and we're going to go back to the main settings here. We're going to pick our fill tool. We're going to pick a color. Yeah, let's go with the green here. And bam, you know, uh, pretty accurate. Okay, so let's make a new layer. And uh, we have the... Uh, uh, brushes selected. Now, mind you, there's still multiple brushes within here that we're going to get to just not in this. This is just going to kind of be an overview, but uh, we have multiple brushes that we can choose from um, multiple sets of brushes. There's a lot in this application here. And uh, as you can see, we can draw just very easily I mean, everything is just so, you know, you can just really do what you want. Uh, the speed's there. Uh, I mean, we're just really scratching the surface with what you can do here. Uh, let's move on to the next picture. Okay, so now we're in our new picture here. Um, this was taken. Uh, the field that I was in was a sod farm. My family owns a sod farm. And uh, uh, I took this picture because I want to show... Uh, something that, you know, everybody loves to do. It's one of the features that everybody wants and it's uh, in painting. And basically that's when you just take and get rid of something. But I want to show you how good it is in Affinity. Um, you know, it does, oops, you know what? I think I screwed something up there. There was a little piece that I forgot to get, but Okay. Even with that screw up, uh, I mean, look at what a good job this does. I will say this in painting in affinity, I think is better than in Photoshop. I think it does a better job the first time in Photoshop. Uh, you got to do it a couple times. And even in this you do, don't get me wrong. I can still see a little bit of uh, haze up here and, uh, there's a little bit down there. This is a little annoying. I wish this would just come out and not actually blur my background out. Uh, it is pretty quick though. And kind of right down here, there was a little bit of a, uh, you can barely see it, but uh, okay. That's a little bit better. But like I said, uh, it's better than Photoshop. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's just more accurate. I feel and I've done a lot of different tests um, you can still do the clone stamp tool. Uh, you got to press and hold. So right there. And then we can go in and, uh, you know, like you would in any other app, uh, like Photoshop. So I'm telling you guys, man, there's just so many features jammed into this. Uh, but of course, everybody really wants the raw editing. Uh, let's get into that with the next video. Okay, so here's our next picture that we got up. And uh, let's go right into the, uh, what's that called? It's called the develop persona. And this is going to give you your like raw settings, like when you would open something up in Photoshop and, and do the raw. Uh, now this... As powerful as it is, it doesn't have all of the raw features that you may be used to. 
Uh, it doesn't have the like sharpen. It's pretty much just got like when you would normally open something up in Photoshop, it pretty much just kind of has that first page or Lightroom. Um, it's, it's missing uh, some of the other stuff, but it's still really, really powerful. Um, there's different tools here. You can also do, um, uh, for one, you have your white balance tool that you can, uh, you know, use right in the camera raw. So like I say, each time you're in personas, you get different tools. The drop downs are different. Um, I mean, it just goes so deep. So we can start with the exposure. You know, this picture is a little dull to begin with, so I can pop that exposure up. Um, bring the black point a little bit more. Bring the brightness down a bit. Uh, you do have clarity. That's something a lot of people like to use when developing RAWs. And uh, we can kind of pump the vibrance and saturation up on this picture. Uh, and we can play with the shadows and highlights a little bit. And uh, everything can be turned on and off. And uh, it's, it's really powerful. It's, it's really, really powerful. And when you're done developing it, you can commit to it. And, you know, now we're back, you know, at the, at the main page, we can do whatever we want to this. Um, so this is just kind of an overview to really show you guys what's going on with this program and just, you know, how much stuff you can do. Um, yes, the pen tools in it. Uh, I mean, I was just, I was really blown away by what you can do with this app and there's going to be a lot of tutorials coming up and I hope you guys like this just kind of overview. I, I don't even know. I didn't even know where to really begin with this program. So I just kind of wanted to get in and show you you guys can really, uh, you know, do, I would honestly say about 85 to 90% of what you can do in Photoshop in this app. And it blew me away and I'm still finding new things every time I open it. Uh, Photoshop creates an iPad app. It totally is pretty much worthless. You can barely, you know, do anything in it. Um, uh, their Pixelmator, I would say, would be the next best thing than, that was better than Photoshop. But even in Pixelmator, um, you know, you can't... Th this just has so much more. There's just a lot more depth to this. And uh, hopefully you guys stick around for upcoming videos that will be showing off specific tutorials on how to do specific things in this app. So hope to see you guys back soon till next time.